independent, dependent, controlled, how do these variables affect a scientific experiment? Hello, SciPals! I am Ma'am Ledesa Padua, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to differentiate the types of variables in a scientific experiment. We will identify the controlled, independent, and dependent variables present in a given scientific experiment. Furthermore, we will appreciate the significance of variables in scientific investigations. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another a moment. remember the steps in scientific method? That's right! The steps of the scientific method involve identifying a problem, gathering information, identifying variables, making a hypothesis, generating predictions, designing an experiment, observing, collecting, analyzing, and presenting of data, and making conclusions. Identifying the steps in scientific method would help us better understand the importance of properly conducting an experiment. One of the steps in scientific method is identifying variables. What is variable? A variable is any factor, trait, or condition that can exist in different amounts or types. It is any factor that can be controlled, changed, or measured in an experiment. An experiment usually has three types of variables, controlled, independent, and dependent. Controlled variables, also known as constant variables, are those that remain unchanged. Independent variable, or the cause, is the one being changed in the experiment. It is what the investigator thinks will affect the dependent variable. Dependent variable or the effect responds to the change of the independent variable. It is what will be measured and what the investigator thinks will be affected during the experiment. Ah! To better understand the controlled, independent, and dependent variables, let's have a simple experiment on paper chromatography. Paper chromatography is a method that makes use of a paper sheet or a strip as an absorbent in the stationary phase through which a particular solution is allowed to pass. It is inexpensive and can efficiently separate dissolved chemical substances according to their varying migration rates across a sheet of paper. In this experiment, we are going to use three filter papers cut into one inch by eight inches strips. Four 250 milliliter beakers, green, violet, and orange food colorings, droppers, ethyl alcohol, iron stein, metal rod, pencil and ruler, and tape. This is how we are going to perform paper chromatography. First, 
take the three filter paper strips. Using a pencil, draw a horizontal line 2 cm from one of the other end of the filter paper strips. Using a dropper, put a drop of green, violet, and orange food colorings at the line. Pour 50 milliliters ethyl alcohol in the three 250 milliliter beakers. Clip the metal rod into the iron stein and attach the three filter paper strips. Suspend the filter paper strips vertically in the beaker in such a way that the horizontal line remains about 1 cm above the alcohol level in 30 minutes. Notice the rising alcohol along with the green, violet, and orange food colorings. Take the filter paper out of the beaker. Observe and measure the distance traveled of the three spots from the horizontal line and colors of separated pigments. Now, which are the controlled variables in our setup? That's right! The control variables are the container, type and amount of alcohol, size and kind of filter paper, time of dipping, and height of hanging filter paper strips. Since these factors are the same in all setups, they are considered as controlled variables. What is the independent variable in our setup? Correct! The independent variable is the color of the food colorings. It is considered as independent variable 
because it is changed in each setup and will affect the results of the experiment. How about the dependent variables? The dependent variables are the distance traveled and colors of separated pigments. These are considered as dependent variables because they are the observed and measured results of the experiment. Ah! In conducting scientific investigations, it is important to properly identify the different variables involved in the experiment. This will greatly help the researcher in setting up the experiment and collecting relevant data based from the objectives of the study. Variables play a vital part in scientific investigations that lead to discoveries and to help solve community problems. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, you have differentiated the types of variables. Controlled variable is a variable which shall constant in an experiment. Independent variable is a variable that can be changed and manipulated in an experiment. While dependent variable is the response of the change of independent variable. It is a variable being tested and measured in an experiment. Variables play a vital part in scientific investigations. Properly identifying the different variables involved in the experiment will greatly help the researcher in setting up the experiment and collecting relevant data based from the objectives of the study. This eventually leads to discoveries and help address problems of our society. Ah! That's all for today, Saipals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah! Moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan, Sayatek Portal. Bye!